is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I hope you're doing fantastic. I'm going to be doing another install video of a backup camera, but I'm not going to be using it as a backup camera. I'm going to be using it as a side view camera uh, because I already have a backup camera. And of course you can use it in uh, whatever way or fashion you desire. It's a nice little camera from the folks at FXT uh, Technologies. So I promised them uh, an install video and I'm gonna give them an install video. So let me just show you around my RV right now. So as you can see, they already have a backup camera. And I already have some uh, side marker cameras. And this is the front of my uh, Rockwood Mini Line 2205S, 22, the year 22 model. And there's my other side marker cameras. Okay, so I have two side marker cameras. And uh, I'm thinking about a place to put them. My original dream last night was to put up front, but there's no place to, there's no marker lights up there. Some RVs have marker lights up there. I was hoping mine did in my dreams and my fantasies there was one but there's not there's a couple of little lights on the, each side but that's about it I was hoping to have uh, that camera look towards my hitch so when I'm backing up I can do something with it so again I have these uh, cameras and I took off some of the decals in my last video as you very well know <clears throat> so I decided to put this uh, camera right here so what it'll help me with is it'll give me a nice view of what's in this corner. It has a 120 degree view. And so I'm gonna pull off that lens and uh, replace it with the camera. The only negative thing about this install is that it's another piece of equipment that hangs out a bit that can be destroyed uh, in tight quarters. But, um, should be further out than my uh, 30 amp connection and some of these connections here. Shouldn't uh, be that far out, but you never know. And uh, of course, it'll be very interesting to find out if that camera works with the uh, Halo View system over there and I can use the same monitor or I have to use a separate monitor. In my uh, truck, I'll show you my truck here. I installed uh, a little adapter that allows my wife and I to uh, travel with USB chargers, fast chargers, and uh, USB-C chargers, and of course three cigarette lighters. One's going to be for the uh, Halloween system, one's going to be for the, uh, te the tech system, and the other one's going to be for my tire pressure monitoring system. So that's, uh, it just plugs in right down there where I have this little light that I've had for about five years. Cheap light that I got at uh, Tractor Supply and I've been using it since. It's always a handy little light, okay? Let me close the door. So over here, it's my equipment. I have a crimper, I don't know if I'm gonna use that. Uh, wire cutters, stripper the antenna and the adapter. I was very worried about that uh, this did not fit appropriately be behind my little camera, okay? So this is the adapter that came with the kit that allows this to fit handily here. I already took off the lens, just used a little screwdriver, and this is the style of uh, antenna that they give you with this product, okay? I also have a couple screwdrivers and there's some of my tripods. I'm only going to probably use my basic uh, Benro tripod. This is my small tripod, easy to carry around. This is my super duper fluid head with Sarui VH10X fluid head that I attach to my Benro carbon fiber tripod. Yes, I am a photographer by trade. That's how I earned all my money and made the millions upon millions. Now I made millions. Made a couple dollars here and there. There's a picture of the monitor and um, has various uh, stuff. So 
Let's get started with this uh, modest little uh, install video. Again, it's not that difficult. How many wires are there? I can handle that. Two wires. I can handle that. My brain can handle installing and attaching two wires. How about you? Step uh, number one, numero uno, is to uh, take off this uh, lens, and uh, that should be relatively easy. Of course, it has all kinds of clear sealant right here, so we'll see how messy it is. They're popping out the lens. Has some sealant right there. Very nice job, Rockwood Flagstaff. You guys did a great job. And then, of course, have to take out these two screws and they're Phillips. Let me get a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be right back. I now magically have a Phillips screwdriver. They have nice, some very nice black heads, painted black heads. I, I appreciate that. I'm going to put these in my pocket because it'll eventually flow. I'm going to put it in my little back left pocket here. I'm doing a great job, aren't I? These are skills that I have. I can, I can screw in a screw and I can splice two wires. Those are pretty much the limits of my uh, electrical skills. Anything beyond that, uh, good luck, okay? So let me put this behind here and see if it pops out. I'm being very careful. Ooh, there it goes. I guess not that careful. <laughs> so there we are. We have two li two lie, uh, you know, two uh, wires, black and white, and conveniently on the uh, backup camera side, you know whatever you want to use it, camera, from the folks at Tech. Uh, just cut it here, splice those two wires together. Again, easy peasy. Let me get my other tools. I'll be back. So I've used a little gaffer tape. Gaffer tape is used in the photography and film industry. Uh, it doesn't have a leave a residue most of the time. So just to make sure that these wires don't go inside and I lose them, that'd be a drag, wouldn't it? So the light's going to go right about here. This is without the uh, lens cover and this has the hood up and everything's pretty much set. It has two screws, one, two, three screws. Again, let me show you this. Uh, it has one, two, and three areas where you can screw. And back here is the antenna and all that stuff, okay. Another shot. So I'm gonna snip these two wires off. I already uh, butt-connected. Hey. Can't say that in public, huh? Butt-connected. So uh, you have two butt-connectors. One's ground and one's DC. So uh, I'm pretty sure I forgot. I forgot something. I'm supposed to use my meter and check and see if it's the polarity, stuff like that. Let me do that right now. Next step, of course, is uh, cut the wires. So let me get my uh, wire cutters. Next is to strip a little bit of this. Do a little bit of stripping here. It's gonna be 
hard. Let me just uh, do this and give me a little more room to play with. Give it a little bit more. That's good. So now we have a positive and negative. I've uh, already added the butt connectors and the heat shrink. The red one, the red heat shrink was a lot easier than putting through the little areas there than the black heat shrink. Weird, weird, weird. So now I'm gonna connect the uh, black and red here. Give, me a, give it a tiny twist, not much. So I finally got the butt connectors on. That took a while. I'm not very good at this sort of stuff. I apologize. Even positive and negative. And uh, I did uh, drop these uh, several times, these uh, heat shrinks. I had them originally on there, but they kept on falling, so I put them over there. And of course, after I get it butt connected, <laughs> it's too late to put them on now. So what I'm gonna do is uh, cut a couple pieces of tape and uh, set it up yeah, that way just tape them a little bit like they used to do in the old days huh yeah used to use electrical tape for everything all kinds of connections now we got all kinds of uh, fancier ways of uh, doing things so I'm gonna start one off here and then get a larger piece and finish it off. From the other end. And of course I give a nice little squeeze. We're set. Let's do the other one. So again, I want to wish you a happy new year. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Again, I don't claim to be an electrician. If you're an electrician, uh, you're welcome at my house any day of the week to help me out on my projects because I do need help. Because I am rather sad when it comes to electrical. I've had to turn down several uh, projects. People have asked me to do projects thinking that I'm an influencer, but I, you know, some of the folks out there actually know what they're doing. They're techies, nerds, dorks, spazzes, dweebs. I am not. I'm an artsy fartsy guy. Let me add some more tape because more tape is mo better. Let me squeeze it down, and we're set. Now I can uh, put this back in its hole, and uh, let me see if those holes align. Okay, that's uh, hole one. No, they do not align, so what I have to do next, let's pull this out a little bit. Let's drill some holes and put some screws in. They gave me some screws. Very generous of the folks at the tech company. Let me get back to you. So we turned it on. Camera came on immediately. Actually, the image is pretty good. I actually like this image a lot better than some of the other cameras, the Furions and the Halideus. Very nice. If you want a better image, that works out. And again, this is a perfect little uh, backup camera. Uh, they don't currently have any side marker cameras, but they do have a backup camera and it's very affordable. I'll give you a link in the description if you want to go to their website and bug them and harass them and say, Hey, 
I would like to buy one right now. Not tomorrow, not yesterday. I want it right now. So let's get back to the video and start screwing in this uh, wonderful little camera. What do you think? Now that I have it all secured, plus to plus and minus to minus, and I checked the uh, signal, and the signal was pretty good in my truck. Now I've just uh, scraped off some of this plastic here. This, I mean, caulking is coming off pretty fast. Okay. Now let me give us. I forgot to get some goo gone. Let me go get some goo gone. I am back with goo gone. My wife loves this stuff. She uh, likes to use it quite a bit. So let me uh, clean up this area a little bit. Let me just give it a couple squirts. It's a pretty light mess here, so it should, should be relatively easy to clean. So what I'll do now is... Uh, let it set for about 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, and uh, remind you to uh, like subscribe and share this uh, channel i would greatly appreciate it. this is an old fart here just doing youtube videos and his retirement having a little fun uh, i enjoy doing these videos quite a bit don't forget to uh, leave your kind and super 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 friendly comments below again i am not an electrician or an electric tech an engineer i don't have a phd in uh, electronics electronic technology electronic theory in fact i if I took those classes, I'd probably flog them. So, <laughs> like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments. I would greatly appreciate it. Let me see if it's, uh... oh yeah, just a few seconds. And it cleans up pretty good. There we go. Next up, we uh, have a pencil here. I think this is a number two. Yeah, it's a number two. This is right there, number two. And I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to take this tape off. And clean that up. I left a little mess right here from this. And uh, figure where I'm going to put this. a little bit to the left so at least I have one of the holes right there set and the second one uh, let me see so now I have a spot apparently to put the so I'm going to raise it up to match this level here and put it right about there so call it good let me double check so I have one hole Two holes right about there. Yeah, that'll work. So I'll put a hole right here, a little uh, small hole. Let me get my drill. And I'm gonna make a little tiny hole right about there, okay? It's close enough to government work. I'm 99% sure nobody's gonna go looking at this and say, hey, not right. A little pilot hole. Next time I'm gonna put in the screws. In the kit from the folks from Tech, they uh, give me some, uh, quite a few of these self-tapping screws. They should fit very nicely in here. And uh, what I'm gonna do next is try not to lose the screws first. I'm gonna put a little bit of sealant inside these holes. I'm gonna put one first in the hole that was previously there. Here's the completed job. It's a lot cleaner. 
I think so. But what do you think? Again, uh, these uh, Rockwoods and Flagstaff have uh, fiberglass, Asdell. Then they have the uh, block foam insulation, of course, aluminum you know, structure. And on the other side, they have Asdell as well. Asdell uh, decorative stuff. So there we are. We're pretty much set. Here's another shot. And with this camera up, and that should be pretty good right about there. Should give me a nice view. Let me take off that, and we're all set. What do you think? They do give you a hex key to tighten up everything. So if you want to adjust the camera up and down, to give you a little bit of leeway. That's pretty good. And I did uh, put some sealant over that bolt. Now we're going to shade this and put this here. So you can see the uh, little golden colored uh, adapter that allows this to go more straight up. So, there's a tight shot of the camera. What do you think? The ceiling looks pretty good. And of course I can always clean it up later or add more ceiling. It's pretty solid on there. Nothing's moving at this time. Okay. This unit comes with a nice monitor. It has a little antenna that you screw in right there. It has various uh, connections. It has this little hood. It sort of snaps in. Let me see if I can snap it in without breaking it. So it snaps in right now. That's pretty good. So it worked out pretty good. It were snapped in. Of course, I still have the film on there. I'm going to leave the film on there. This allows you to attach it to a mirror so it comes with uh, four little attachments and it has these elastic pieces so let me uh, so let me attach it right now see how it works out yes I am highly skilled at uh, attaching uh, bolts and screws. I'm pretty good at that. Pretty good. Just so let me do the other side. So that's how it looks, a little uh, rubber band contrivance. So it sort of springs into action. Hoots snapped on really good. I own quite a few monitors and this one's pretty good. Next, we're gonna show you how it looks inside my truck. So I have the camera installed via these uh, rubber bands on my uh, mirror. Of course, uh, typically, I would have my other backup camera system here, so I'm gonna have to figure out another place for it if I wanna use this camera or just not use it at all. It's, you have choices. Of course, this would make a perfect little backup camera, I think. So it's a high quality system so far. Let me turn it on, see what it looks like. There you go. You can see the decent quality of the image. I think it's excellent, personally for a backup observation camera. What do you think? And of course I set it up and it's pretty easy to set up. It's connected uh, 
monitor connects to this little cable which connects to the cigarette lighter which is connected to my adapter which goes down to my 12 volt down here so so it says right there what does it say monitor charger so it's pretty easy to install for the camera and the uh, monitor I think let me wave to you folks hey how you doing so what do you think Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and leave your kind and super friendly comments abajo, below. Thank you very much. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuel Menegarza. I'll have links in the description to the uh, website of the folks that uh, make this camera. And uh, also have another link to my Amazon affiliate page where you can buy some of the odds and ends I used in this video. Thank you very much. Again, from Fort Worth, Texas, gracias. Adiós. Bye-bye.